Hi guys, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. I'm going to be making some in-beds for a soap that I am making and I just wanted to show you how I'm doing it and I will tell you before I make the soap exactly um, what I'm going to do with the in-beds and what my inspiration was. So let me just start by saying that I just had some clear melt and pour and I added a little bit of Here Comes the Bride Mica from Mad Oils. Added a little bit to it and then I just poured it into, I have a silicone loaf mold that's about, the little loaves are about this big. I made chai tea in it if you've seen that video. And I just poured it into the bottom so it's just that thick. It's really thin. Um, and I did two of these. And what I've started to do is I use my vegetable peeler and I make, I just go right down. I'll show you real quick. I did this I think on another video. But I just go right down the side of it. And then I can take it and I just kind of curl it around like this and then I have four different bags of glitter this one is, I have no idea the name, I just ordered a bunch of them a while back and put them in these cute little sha where are you? shakers and so I just dumped some in this little bag I save these bags by the way. If you're a soap maker and um, you order supplies from a lot of places you'll get like a sample of a mica or whatever in these plastic bags. I don't ever throw these away. I just kind of stick them in a drawer and I use them for different things when I'm making soap so I don't just throw them away. So that's an idea if you want to do that. But I have this curl so I'm going to lay it on my wax paper and just kind of make sure it's all covered in rub it's 91% rubbing alcohol and I just throw it in the bag and just give the bag a shake and then pull it out and you have this adorable little sparkly spiral curly thing now I did A few of them in another silver glitter that I have and I'm also going to make some with this hot pink glitter and then I have just like an iridescent glitter and I'm gonna make some with that the other thing that I'm doing with this one I'm just cutting them I was thinking how can I make like a, a circle that I can just pop right out of the mold or up right out and put alcohol on, put in the bag and put glitter on them. And I thought how about my cake decorating tips. So this is a Wilton 1A and this is a Wilton 12. So they're two different sizes. And so I've cut one of each. So just go ahead and spritz them with rubbing alcohol. This is just to make the glitter stick. And then throw them in your one of your glitter bags. I'm going to have glitter everywhere. Oh, come here. Love you. Love you too, babe. Night night. Then you okay. Then you have these sparkly little gems or whatever you want to call them. So I have that size. I don't want to set it there. And this little mini size. So they're gonna be like little sparkling gems or rhinestones when I'm finished. So I'm going to go ahead and make all of them that I want to make for the soap 
and I will be back in a few minutes to get started on making the soap and to tell you what I'm going to do with them. Hi, welcome back. I wanted to show you the finished embeds I made for the top of the soap. I did the two different size of the cutouts with my decorating tip, my Wilton decorating tips, and then sprayed them, put them in the glitter bags, and I did these four different colors, and I did the little spirals too. Now, I get inspiration from many different places, from my color palettes, just I get inspired by so many different things, and this particular soap is inspired by another YouTube channel, and it is not a soap making channel. It is a nail, a lady that does her nail own nails, and her name is Nikki. Her channel is called Absolute Nails. You can find it here on YouTube. I'll leave the link in the description box below. But she has amazing, um, just does amaz amazing artistic just all different kinds of things on her videos and let me show you a picture of what inspired me to do the curly I mean I've done the curlies on other videos um, but then I saw her nail and I'm like oh she's got so much sparkle and bling and you know with the little rhinestones and the glitter and I thought I want to do a video <clears throat> based on her nail design now she, I found her because she had been commenting on so many of my soaping videos and was so kind and so sweet and um, we became friends on Facebook and then I noticed on her um, Facebook page that she put a link to my YouTube channel and asked her friends to check out my videos and I got a bunch of subscribers from that and a bunch of sweet comments on her page from that and this is just my way of, you know, letting her know that her videos inspired me um, in this design. So I'm going to call it Absolute Bling. And I'm scenting it in uh, Birds of Paradise fragrance. It's very, very sweet. And I'm going to do a base of white. And I'm going to do two different colors. Um, this is the closest I could get to the pink glitter I used and this is from Nurture Soap but my label's gone. I'm sorry I say that every time I use that color but I don't know what color it is. And I'm going to use the Peacock Mica from Mad Oils and I'm just going to do probably a drop swirl inside in my two and a half pound Nurture Soap mold and then um, probably just a simple swirl on the top and then I'm going to go ahead and place my embeds in there. Okay, so let's get started. Let me put my goggles on.
I'm back and I just took a skewer and swirled around the top a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and place my embeds now. Let's see. I'm going to lay the spirals down so I think I will use a skewer otherwise I'll have glitter all over me again. I want to try to have one on each of the bars. And try not to cut them if I can. back the next day to cut this soap that I named Absolute Bling after Absolute Nails YouTube channel. If you guys want to, I'll leave the, um, go ahead and check her out. I'll leave the link in the box below. And let's cut it and see what it looks like. I didn't even cheat and cut it ahead of time. I waited. Ooh, I love the swirl. And it's so sparkly. This I scented with the Birds of Paradise. Um, it smells really good. Very sweet. I don't think I've ever done a swirl like that before. I don't remember what I did. Okay guys, I just wanted you to see the swirl. Um, Nikki, I hope you like the soap. And as soon as it's finished curing, I'll send you some. Probably in about four weeks, I'm going to be sending you a little care package. Okay, thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you on the next video.